be honest with you, uh, I couldn't even find one in my town. Like, when did cheese graters become a thing that was so hard to find? I even went to our uh, local Buy Mart and 20 bucks for one. 20 bucks. I went to all the yard sales I could find, couldn't find one. I just thought this was really ridiculous. I ordered one actually off of eBay. I think with shipping it was like $8.29 and it's got a nice little bucket to catch all the soap in so that was a great score. The other thing that you're going to need or are probably going to want is a little mini chopper or a, even a blender or something, a food processor of some kind. Uh, it does not need to be big because you're going to be doing it in batches. I, again, you don't want to use your normal household one, so just buy a cheapy. Again, this was an eBay special. I think I got it for like 20 bucks. Not a big deal. It cost me very little. I got everything less than $30, and that included shipping. So I figured great score, and I'll always have this then for my soaps. I also went ahead, not that I need it right now, but I picked up this little laundress, a little scrubbing, like if you have something that has a really good stain on it, you can kind of work it in. And then you're going to need your bars of soap, you're going to need the laundry booster, and last but not least, Forex. Those are the only items that you're going to need to make your soap. So let's get real with it here. So I went ahead and I ordered kind of an excess amount of everything just because I know I'm going to be using it. I don't mind having extra on hand because when I'm done, I can make more. I can make double batches. It's however you want to lay it out. Okay, let's get this baby on the road. And I must say, this smells so good. It kind of reminds me of my grandparents' house. I wonder if my grandparents use this. I just don't remember. I have to ask my mom. The smell is just so familiar. Or I mean, I know I used it many years ago, but... Now, obviously, you can spend the money and you can... Uh, a cheese grater but I'm not gonna spend the money on something that is soap so yeah I am really really digging this tray that it goes into though because if I recall last time I was having a struggling time getting it into here so or I shouldn't say into here but like onto a plate and then in the bucket. And... Okay, so you're going to use one full box of the washing soda and one full box of borax and three bars of your Fells naphtha. Um, but I learned a little trick many years ago that if you do one bar of soap at a time and then kind of integrate like the the other boxes uh, it has a much better blend rate so that when it's all said and done it works out a lot better for you so this is why you don't want your own blender <sighs> everything is just nice and clean that's the way I like it
<laughs> kind of looks like cheese. <laughs> How does this bad boy work here? we had a scratch and sniff phone. Mm. So I ended up just pouring the two boxes in because this cheap little um, food grinder I got here, food processor, is just that. It's cheap and it does not want to hold the amount that it said it would. Um, it keeps jamming and not turning on. And also, uh, when I have it very full, I notice that it does not pop off of its um, base. So, we're just going to mix it by hand. Actually, I'll make John shake it all up. I'm not supposed to really be doing a lot. I hurt my shoulder, and technically I'm supposed to be in a sling, but... I can't get anything done. As you know, this kind of lifestyle, you just got to keep doing stuff all the time. It just never stops. But this kind of lifestyle also means you're one step ahead of everybody else. So now I've got all my beautiful, beautiful homemade laundry soap here. Now, I know there's a liquid one. I actually used to make the liquid one, and uh, one time we decided to do a test. Um, this was, again, back in like 2013, 2014, and we tried the liquid against the powder. The powder won, hands down. So we don't uh, take the time with the liquid anymore, uh, simply because it's um, not as effective. <laughs> so we've made our laundry soap. It smells great. The stuff works great. You don't need very much. Okay, so we have all this beautiful laundry detergent and I broke down some prices for you. I have uh, the Borax. It worked out to be $5.12 a box. The Fels Naphtha was $5.99 and the washing soda was $4.17 giving us a grand total of $15.28. That's providing us with 252 loads at a tablespoon per load. I do have this because it's plastic and I was gonna throw it away, but you only need a tablespoon um, per, load, per load. So that's six cents a load. And that's at 2022 prices. So uh, I think we did a really good value here and it works great. It's healthier for your family, not all the extra chemical. 
so uh, hopefully you guys write this down in those booklets or in your journals keep track of this stuff try it yourself let me know what you think and uh, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell because we have a video coming out where we do some off-grid laundry anyway thanks so much for watching you guys have a great day